This first video clip is just a brief overview of the flow of traffic headed eastbound on Willow slash Catella. Also, briefly, as you can see, this is in essence what happened. In addition to a serious brain injury, Jonathan sustained multiple fractures and split his tongue in half. Sorry for the unexpected display of gore and guts, but we believe in putting things in context. The flow of traffic depicted here is a bird's eye view of what the defendant driver was looking at right before the impact with Jonathan. Oh, the defendant driver has no insurance, but does admit to doing some handiwork for a local homeowner. We have named the homeowners in the lawsuit as well. This is where we believe the impact occurred based on a review of the police report and also based on the physical evidence and client statement. It is important to note that the accident happened near the LA County and Orange County borderline. The police report identifies the GPS coordinates, which according to Google, the accident happened in Long Beach or LA County. This is therefore where we filed. However, when using a different source, the LA controller's website, the accident happened in Los Alamitos or Orange County. Because of the ambiguity of sorts, there is literally and figuratively a disconnect in the way the bike lanes were designed in both the eastbound and westbound directions. It's almost like there was a sort of a hot potato phenomenon as it relates to a need for a congruous connection in the related bike lanes and sidewalks. There are literally crosswalks and driveways that lead to nowhere. This is especially true and important on the other side of the street as we will depict using a gray arrow. This may or may not be important, but you see this lane merge sign? Well, there's another one just about 100 feet away, but it's broken off its base and thrown in the vegetation on the ground. So here it is, the driveway that Jonathan used to come into the street to continue westbound. The purpose appears to be for city or other crew workers to be able to obtain ingress into the riverbed or something. There's a locked gate over here, or where that second red arrow was. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. If you look, there's a sidewalk driveway that leads nowhere. This is what I meant earlier by a disconnect in the planning and design when Orange County half-assed just about everything here in this area when considering just how many bicyclists frequent this busy street. Jonathan told us that the reason he rode on the south side curb instead of the north side curb is because he intended to get onto a riverbed bike path heading north through a gate that sometimes is locked. That's where that second gray arrow was. And this needs to be explored further. By way of reminder, this is the direction that the defendant driver veered onto Jonathan's opposing path. Now you see these pylons that have a lock and key at the bottom? They are simple, inexpensive, and very effective. Without them, they really do create an attractive nuisance, in my opinion. To add insult to injury, these do not enter signs further confuse a bicyclist because they encourage bicyclists and maybe even pedestrians to utilize the driveway to continue onto their westbound travel. All right, so this is facing westbound on Catella. And this is the way that Jonathan was riding his bike on the this sidewalk here. And then he's gonna come off of this driveway and then that's when the impact occurred. I'm not going to cross it for obvious reasons. Thank you for watching.